Well, look, we're very keen to see how people and their families are managing what is, after all, a global crisis. Uh, and it does feel like a rather good time to check in with a family um, who rather captured hearts around the world just a, a couple of years ago after an interview went viral. Uh, you will remember this, I know, Professor Robert Kelly talking to BBC World News back in 2017. When his children decided that they had a role to play in the interview, that video was watched more than 36 million times. It's going to be watched millions more. Now I've reminded you all of it as well. But look, let's uh, get over and join the Kelly family right now in Busan. All of them there. Um, Robert, Marion, James, Kim Jongar as well. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good to see you excited about being on telly. That's uh, <laughs> not the first time. Um, right. Junga, can I just ask you, first of all, your two wonderful, lively children, um, how, do you, how do you cope with um, what you can do, where you can go? At first, it's very difficult to stay in the house for a long time. So we go uh, the, a little bit short time you know, playground, try to far away from the people. And a couple of times a week, we hike the hill. Uh, this is a spring season in Korea, so we try to go uh, see the flowers and trees, and uh, they can shout and scream inside of the tree. So right. We so yeah, you can get out a bit, which is important, because I imagine you all go stir crazy if you couldn't. Robert, in, in terms of the country, I mean, some of the measures taken within South Korea are what I guess a lot of Westerners would see as quite extreme. I mean, people can track your every movement. How well, re how, how well received is that process? <laughs> I think South Koreans have actually dealt with it really well. I think social compliance here has been pretty high. Um, you don't see the kind of stuff that you've seen in the United States with like people crowding beaches and people refusing to uh, stay off the subways and stuff like that. I mean, South Koreans have actually really responded really well, and that's why the curve is flattened, right? I mean, the cases are down now to like only 100 a day, so it's actually been pretty successful. Sorry, my kids are. <laughs> you must never apologize. That's one thing you can you can never apologize for. Now it's uh, it's go. it's part of the scene, isn't it? It's what we expect. Right. But but in a sense, also we're living in a world, Robert, now where working from home, that teleworking phenomenon, is something we all have to deal with. People see this. They they might have laughed and and loved what they saw a couple of years ago. They can empathize now. This is this is a new way of working, and I guess it's transformational. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty tough for us. I mean, as you can see, it's very difficult. And I put this on Twitter, too, right, that, that you know, employers who have employees with kids, like, all right, it's going to be very, very difficult. I get maybe two hours of work done a day, maybe three with this. We're fighting with them all the time. they got something to do. They're climbing the walls. It's just really, really tough, right? Um, that's why I'm glad that things are lightening up in Korea a little bit, because at least we can take them outside so they can use a little bit of their energy. But, I mean, three weeks ago, it was very, very hard because it's couldn't go anywhere and you know there are only so many games you can play and puzzles you can do before they just kind of you know absolutely run around absolutely absolutely that's, that's actually been quite up as you can see and a lot of people will share that sense of, of let's say challenge that, that we might call it i do want to ask you one other question though about the region really and about within asia i mean this is a part of the world that experienced sars south korea of course being hit by mers so how much has that played into a real understanding among Asians, among South Koreans, as to what this coronavirus can do? Because I think it's been a slow burn in many other parts of the world. Yeah, I think that's right. I think South Korea has had some experience with this, you know, Maris, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome just a few years ago. I mean, a lot of the things that happen then you're seeing again, right? I mean, people washing their hands before they go into buildings and get temperature checked and stuff like that. Right, the South Korean government has an infrastructure left over from previous experiences with these sorts of outbreaks. And all that sort of kicked back in again. In fact, at the beginning, when people thought that Corona was just going to be another one of these things, that's what we all kind of expected. It would be a disruption for two or three weeks, like the last one, four or five years ago. 
and things will get back to normal, right? So, I mean, this is actually something we've experienced before, and I think you see that institutional memory this time around. Yeah, well, um, that obviously seems to have, have uh, played pretty well within South Korea, by and large, as I see the numbers of uh, cases still rising there. Look, Robert, uh, um, jong -ha and children, thank you very much for giving us your time. Delighted to see that Marion and uh, James have lost none of yeah. their... <laughs> <laughs> None of their yes. naughtiness, to be quite frank. Great to see you all. Thanks very much for giving us your time. Thank you very much Thank for you. having us.